Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some brand new Dollar Tree DIYs. These are so simple and easy to make, so let's get going. This DIY, I'll be using two of these wood burlap pieces, and all I did was just peel off the words and the piece of paper that was over the top, and then I'm just gonna go in with some Waverly chalk paint and paint that until it does not look like I peeled paper off the top. Now I'm just using these half wood beads. I picked these up off Amazon and I'll link them below for you, but I put them in the four corners of each of these wood pieces. Next, I just grabbed these transfers. My sweet friend Nancy sent these to me. Thank you so much for thinking of me and sending me some of these new transfers from Dollar Tree. I I'm obsessed with rub-on transfers and I have not been able to find any of these farmhouse style ones. So she sent me a few. Thank you again. Um, so all I'm going to do is cut out what I wanted onto the centers of these wood pieces. I liked this Simply Blessed with this greenery at the top and you can cut these whatever way you want. And I'm just using a like a crafting stick. Uh, these also came from different transfers. Uh, the little popsicle stick I'm using to uh, put these onto the wood pieces. I'm also using these rub-on transfers as well. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this one, but I love this saying together is my favorite place to be. And then I'm just going to be adding a little greenery piece along with a red greenery piece to the bottom of this one. And that is all I did. DIY, I will actually be using a piece of wood along with a wooden crate from Dollar Tree. And I'm be using the color Jacko Bean in this mid wax stain. And I'm be staining both the crate and the wood piece the exact same color. Um, and then once that is dry, I end up going in with my Cricut Joy to cut out some numbers. I love my Cricut Joy. If you have not got into the Cricut game yet. I promise you like the Cricut Joy is the easiest one to use. Uh, it doesn't do everything, but it does cut out uh, some simple vinyl pieces. So I just cut out some letters. These are not letters. These are numbers. <laughs> You know what? I've redone this three different times and I've said letters every single time uh, because I'm going to be making this a cute little front door piece uh, for my mom. And I think this turned out so stinking cute just using some hot glue. And this is obviously not on her house quite yet uh, just because it has been raining and I haven't... Uh, sealed this nothing like that so but i think this turned out so cute this will look so stinking cute on a door or even if you didn't want to put it on a door and you wanted to add a different decal or stickers to the top you totally could do that as well DIY, I will be using four packs of these little Scrabble or wood letters, letter tiles, along with the wooden chalkboard from Dollar Tree. And I'm just using my hot glue gun and uh, gluing home sweet home right to the center with these letter tiles. I had to use all four packs because it only comes with one letter of each, which I kind of thought that was going to be the case. Uh, and it's exactly, exactly what it was. So home sweet home. And that is all I did. This one is another idea. I'm using these half wood beads once again, along with some stickers from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gluing these little half wood beads all the way around the house. Once I added the sticker, I just kind of kept moving it around because it wasn't centered. And then I just ended up adding some other stickers from that This Is Us. They just come right off. They look like they're 3D image. Anyways, I love these. These are brand new to my store. So I don't know if you guys have seen these or haven't seen them yet. They probably will be coming. Hopefully they will be coming to your store. But I love the way these turned out. And I am so glad they brought these little chalkboard wood houses back to Dollar Tree.
next one, I'll be using this nesting box. And this is just the medium size one, I want to say. And then I'm going to use some more of these stickers. I picked up so many of these stickers from Dollar Tree and some of these wood curl roses. I picked up two packs of those roses and now I wish I would have picked up more because I pretty much use every single one. I will have them in different DIY videos as well. But I just put one of the stickers in the top of this little nesting box and I am just going to be figuring out how to add these roses and then I'm just going to be hot gluing them and that is it. I think this is such a cute and simple DIY. picked up four of these wooden squares from Dollar Tree and some of these transfers. So these transfers were a little bit different than the normal rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. Uh, and I did not use that second one I showed, but those are the two that I found. I've seen other people haul different ones. These were not my favorite transfers. You may want to tape them down. I did not because I figured if I just move quick, uh, the transfer will be just fine, which they did turn out just fine. Uh, I like the style of these. This isn't really my style, but I like the way they looked. I wanted to try them out, test them out to see if it was worth it. I honestly probably would not buy these again, uh, but they worked. So I do have to give uh, Dollar Tree props for that. And I just picked up a different, uh, I just cut out a bunch of different transfers out of the same package and just added them to these wood pieces to make coasters. And I did not Mod Podge over the top, but if you're actually going to use them as coasters, which I plan to, I will definitely seal these later on. But just for video purposes, I just wanted to see how these transfers turned out. Uh, and like I said, I just cut a bunch of different pieces out and just added them to the wood squares. DIY, I'm be using two of these wooden houses. I have had these for a while, so I'm not sure if they're at Dollar Tree or not. I'm also going to be using one of those little wall hanging shelves from Dollar Tree. I just cut it right in half, and then now I'm going to paint that in the Waverly Chalk Paint in ink. So these houses I have not seen in a while. I haven't really shop shopped at Dollar Tree in a while, except lately, the last time I went. It's been I think that's only the second time I've been to Dollar Tree this year, uh, but I've had, I still have a stockpile of stuff and these houses were one of them. So I just grabbed some scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby. This came in a big pack and always pick up scrap of paper at Hobby Lobby when it's 50% off or when it's on sale. And I'm just going to be tracing that scrap of paper, grabbing a glue stick and putting that scrap of paper right on top of this house. And you know what? And it covers that heart. So if you didn't want the heart showing, this is a great way to cover it up. Everything was dry. I just grabbed a couple Jenga blocks. So you're going to need eight Jenga blocks or eight of these little wood blocks from Dollar Tree or pretty, yeah, that's where I picked them up from Dollar Tree. So I'm gluing them to the side and you're going to see here that I'm going to make a fun little planter box with these items. So I just grabbed some hot glue and I guess the Jenga blocks are kind of optional. I think it just holds up a little bit better. So these black pieces or these black half wall hangings, you're going to see here, this is how I position them. And then, um, yeah, like I said, the Jenga blocks I thought was just easier to glue the house on to the wall hanging. I'd like to say wall hanging, but this is definitely like the wood sides of my house. So pretty much I'm going to be gluing these two black sides 
to these houses and then the houses are going to be the front of the planter box and the back side of the planter box. So that was really hard to explain and I have no idea why. I hope you totally got where I was coming from there. This wood cow came from Walmart recently. They have so many fun different like uh wood pieces now. They are bringing in new items at Walmart as well. So I think this was a dollar twenty nine or a dollar nineteen. I can't remember. I want to say it was a dollar twenty nine. Either way, it's from Walmart. So I just painted it in the Waverly chalk paint in white. And then I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in ink to make it look more like a cow. So I did not add a face. I am not good at making faces at all. So I just made some spots and painted his hooves and gave him like a little nose and kind of just tried uh, to make this look like a cow as much as possible. Obviously, it already looks like a cow, but I wanted to make it look more like a cow. So there you go. And then I decided to add this little gingham bow to the cow as well. And then once that was done, I glued the cow right onto one of the sides of the house. And then I had a wreath. This little wreath was from, oh my gosh, it was from a sign of some sort from Dollar Tree. I just always save everything, so I never know like what exactly it came from, but I'm pretty sure this wreath was just from a love sign or a home sign from Dollar Tree quite a while ago. And that is all for this one. I actually just put a vase in the center of this with a ton of lavender and lamb's ear that were also from Walmart. But I think this is so cute. And like I said, just add a vase to the center. And then when you want to change your florals out, all you have to do is grab the vase and pull it out and redo it to your liking or to the season. So I love this. This next one, I'm using another one of these little wall shelves. I kept calling it a wall hanging. I have no idea why. I guess wall shelf, wall hanging, same thing. I'm also me using this fabric. This is brand new at Dollar Tree, or like I said, at least it's new to me. So a lot of these items are brand new. So if I say that and you're like, no, it's been there for a while, it's definitely new to me. So taking some Mod Podge, I'm going to be Mod Podging that fabric piece on. I just cut it down to the size of the wall shelf. Yes, I said wall shelf. I uh, just cut it down to the size of that and then just put it right over the top. And then I ended up Mod Podging over the top of the fabric as well. I kind of like doing that. It makes everything like really nice and crusty. Uh, I guess if you don't want it to come off, it's probably a good idea to do that. Then I picked up this little welcome decor piece from Dollar Tree and I'm using this forge hammered Rust-Oleum spray paint in the antique pewter color. And yes, this broke, but I was able to fix it and put it back together. So it really wasn't that big of a deal, but I had to do a few little coats of spray paint. You probably only needed one, but I could not get all the nooks and crannies of the little welcome sign. So I was kind of like turning it around and spray painting it twice. Then I just glued it to the center and then and I just ended up using um, some twine along with that piece that actually came with the wall shelf and made this a cute little door sign. I love the way this one turned out. This DIY, I'm going to be using this Wi-Fi is on the house, a password sign. I've had this for a while too. I think I have one or two more. I really like the chalkboard in the center. So that's why I picked them up to begin with. But uh, the Wi-Fi thing was just, it wasn't my style. wasn't something that I would have in here. And I have our Wi-Fi password memorized anyway. So if anybody really wants it, I'll just give it to them. Uh, so anyways, I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint in white to paint this. It did need three good coats to cover up everything. Sometimes I like to sand that paper down so it doesn't take that many coats of paint but I, sometimes sanding I just you, nobody wants to sand then I'm just dry brushing with the Waverly chalk paint elephant just to give us a little bit more detail uh, because sometimes my things are a little bit boring because I like simple and basic I'm using this welcome home rub on transfer this was from the first pack that I used in the beginning of this video so it looks like that no I guess this is another one there's so many different rub on transfer uh packs I just I can't keep track of them all um yeah so I'm just using this little crafter stick or I don't know maybe it's a transfer rub on piece anyways peeling this back it says welcome home and then I had another one of those wreaths uh, 
and I decided to add it to the center of this with another gingham bow. And I picked up all those bows off Amazon. I'll link it for you guys if you want to check it out. Uh, but yeah, that is all I did to this. I added some twine to hang this up and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.